Hi guys, coming to you from Egypt here in Sinai Peninsula, what we call Sina here, the Gulf of Aqaba behind me, or Aqaba, and Saudi Arabia in the distance there. Uh, a good time and place to mention precession. What is precession? Precession is a couple of different things. It's many things culturally, but it's one thing um, physically with the earth. It, it describes the wobble of the earth, okay, and how long it takes the earth to go around in one complete circle of wobble. If you think of a, a top on a surface and the, the, the top is spinning and then it loses its energy and it describes a circle when it starts to wobble around. Well, that circle of wobble is uh, the circle of precession, if you will, okay? So it, it, it takes actually, it's a long, long, slow, majestic process because it involves the sun going through the, uh, the zodiac in the sky or the different constellations in the sky. The same way we have moon over zodiac, but the sun actually goes through in the opposite direction to the moon. And the moon is much, much quicker. Uh, traversing each constellation every day and a half to three and a half days in the biodynamics course, okay? And the sun goes in the opposite direction in the progression of the constellations uh, to the moon. This is one curiosity about it. But so let's say um, we're describing the wobble of the earth in, in a circle here. I don't know if you can see this, but uh, if you put your 12 up here and you're at the top of the circle and over here we're at one degree just just kick one little degree that takes 72 years as it turns out and all of this is a way of of doing a massive time clock for planet earth for for this human world but also astronomically astrologically energetically uh, this is a time clock precession is uh, by describing the wobble of the earth as it gets jerked around by the sun and all the other uh, factors that are out there in the universe, which we, we know that from the unified, the, the space-time uh, tells us, because it's all energy packed in there, all of these objects that are in the universe, um, it doesn't matter how far away they are. If they've got influence, entanglement on us here in, on planet Earth, which it does, then there is influences coming at us from all directions at all moments. So precession is also sort of a net effect of all of that. Now biodynamics, in, for the, those of you in the essential biodynamics course, uh, it doesn't affect anything you're learning about the moon rhythms or anything you have to do in the farming, in the lifestyle, the health stuff. Um, but suffice to say that precession is the larger energetic container that biodynamics and all this cultural stuff uh, sits inside of, okay? Because one degree takes 72 years, most of us will go through our entire lifetimes uh, while experiencing only one degree of earth wobble. So it's not something we can notice. It's very, very slow. So um, what it describes also is the sun going through these constellations in the sky uh, or to us in the sky but we see it sitting static out there every day day after day and we know that we're rotating and the sun is just basically sitting out there but slowly it actually it does uh rotate it does move with regards to all of these other constellations now if you look at your biodynamics calendar and I'm asking you to get it out and to actually open it up and look at it, okay? Sorry for the work. But this is the, the Indian Biodynamics Calendar. This is where you really can appreciate it because of its succinct measurements on the exact moment when things are occurring. And I want you to go to March, spring, equinox period of time. And I'm not going to give you an exact date because as we are all brought up to believe, everything happens on the 21st, 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 21st. You know, all of our zodiac signs occur on the 21st. It's all garbage, but never mind, never mind. We don't have to go there right now, even though I did. Um, because you'll notice on the calendar for March 2021 that, um, and, and any, any other year, look at the, the equinox, uh, and it's not exactly on March 21st, is it? 
And this is an exact measurement, energetic measurement, of when the biodynamic scientists have measured that it's going to be this year. Um, now, having said this, we are, we are here in the Northern Hemisphere. While we're doing the spring equinox in the Southern Hemisphere, they are doing the autumnal, autumnal equinox, okay? Just to be give equal time to Southern Hemisphere versus Northern Hemisphere. They get the opposite seasons, of course, to us up here in the north. So um, we are having the spring equinox coming up or the vernal equinox, and they're going to have the autumnal equinox at the same time. So suffice to say equinox, all right? Well, what is equinox? Um, equinox, just for a moment, equinox is when the sun comes up directly due physical east, not magnetic, physical east. Very solid, physical, reliable point in, in, uh, in, in physical reality. As we, as we gaze across the earth, we see the sun come up. You can, you can gauge by that. That's a, that's a very accurate measurement there. And then this is why this has been very important for the very far off um, ancients, uh, the Ice Agers, and even the ancients in our time of man, uh, uh, many of which did not have this this advanced technology. They had nothing else to go by, no internet and all, not, none of this other stuff. They went by uh, gauging what was going on in the night sky uh, to, to figure out all of their measurements um, life-wise and what they should be doing. This is astrology and things like this and the oracle and all of these practices that were uh, cosmologically oriented were there because this is what they had to go upon. Now those with, that had the very advanced technology which were side by side with these cultures still use this because energetically it's still very significant.